Hey everybody, it's uh, me, Number One Rocker here. Uh, today, after being gone for quite a while now, I thought I'd uh, go ahead and uh, treat you all to a, a Portal 2 walkthrough, just uh, just for kicks, for help, you know, just for uh, just for the hell of it, you know. Figured I'd say, hey, how's this look out? All right, um, so we're gonna start off with a single player, um, obviously. Now we're gonna start a new game. I only did the first two or three uh, test chambers because I just saw the uh, first ten minutes of gameplay and I was just wondering what all I could expect. But now that I know, it's it's pretty much good old Portal. I have to say I was quite excited for some time about um, Portal 2. Uh, of course, you know, played the original, loved it. You know, it was, it's one of those things where it's just like, yeah. The second you play it, you just fall Good morning. Up. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Whoa. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. I got no feet. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Ah! Ah! Pressure. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I do. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Alright, now that's done. Good. Now please return to your bed. I don't wanna. Alright. But uh, anyway, yeah. Portal 1. It, to me, it's Good really... Morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, it's nine, one of those nine, cult nine, classics, nine, you know. Nine, it's just Hello? people like it. Anyone in there? But there's something about Hello? it that you just can't quite put your finger on. Like Are you? Ah! ah! Oh God! You uh, look um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. What? Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Right. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Uh, that is one big ass imprint. Oh. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? No. Just tell me, just say yes. Alright. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. <laughs> just hold tight. All oh, reactor Lord. core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. How do you prepare for that? Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. And you're getting me involved, why? How are you doing down there? You still holding on? I don't think I can. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Uh, yeah. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Whoa, messing up my pad. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Yeah, you're good. Uh, just, just got to get through here. All right. All right, I just got to concentrate. You're a robot. But whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? <laughs> All right, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. <laughs> oh. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? 
if anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, <laughs> don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Still alive. Got it. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh, God. Ah. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh, God. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Ah! Good lordy. There's the door well, locked. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um... At least you're a good jumper. So you got that little jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay, dokie. By the way. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Familiar. We are currently experiencing That's technical familiar. difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, <laughs> testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Wait, what was that last The one? portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nah, but, um, yeah, here, in case you are new to portal, um, pretty much the, this room is actually in the middle of this entire room right here and the actual portal is on that wall over there and there's one inside of your room just a basic explanation of portals just in case you know you're kind of fine screwed with that right there you'll get used Hume to it though and button based testing remains an important tool for science uh, even in a dire emergency just brings back nostalgic if memory cube and button based testing caused this emergency don't worry the odds of this happening twice are very slim you have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches... I thought it was the Science Material Emancipation Grid. That grill. I think, uh, I think Valve messed up on their own cannon there. And that is a party foul. But, um... If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I've had that happen to me last Tuesday. But, um, yeah, throughout this walkthrough, I'll, uh, you know, be walking you through the game, showing you how it works, giving you my insight about the game. Um, there's a whole bunch of fun stuff, you know. You obviously, uh, probably uh, witnessed me being confused uh, on multiple occasions, so that's sure to guarantee a few laughs here and there. But, um, yeah, yeah I'm just really glad to get this uh, work started on the uh, walkthrough I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. And how do I get back to this bloody thing? Damn it. Is that it? I, I, I liked it better when it did it for you in the first one. Because, yeah, now I'm just kind of rambling about it. Oh. Alright, I always think that one's just behind the glass for some reason. Good. Suck it! Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Just Before re-entering the relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been <laughs> Uh, Still some of that, uh, that campy humor in there. That GLaDOS herself is quite well known for, you know, Portal 1. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, you made it! Oh, 
There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Uh, it's not there. You bastard. Murder. Hello? Hi. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you've asked that 